The GCRA is one of the critical institutions in Gauteng focused on supporting young people. We've got about 4,000 young people that we are supporting through our Pesere program in institutions across the country. And these are the learners from Gauteng schools. Most of our students are coming from the disadvantaged background. So we pride ourselves that uh, the students that are enrolled at the university, uh, most of them are first generation scholars. For the past uh, 10 years, I have been working with GCRA. Over the years, they have uh, funded thousands of students uh, from the university, particularly students from Quintal One, from Nanfi, paying uh, school without the funding from uh, GCRA. Most of those students would be financially excluded. I am the eldest daughter in my family um, and I'll be the first going to university so this buzzer has helped me a lot. When I got the news that I was accepted in UJ and I also got the buzzer of GCRA, told my mom, who told my grandmother, who told all of my siblings and they were all overjoyed because they look up to me and they thought Hore like I'm opening doors you know they could do the same. My life has changed a lot because I'm used to being at home, you know, the parents and people taking care of me. Now I'm all alone in Johannesburg, having to fend for myself and GCRA has been like a huge assistance with that because it pays for most of my allowances and my daily needs. And yeah, navigating through life all alone, it's kind of scary, but it is okay and I'm learning. We have had a relationship with GCRA dating back probably about 10 years where we've accommodated their, their students in our residences, mainly in the Bromfontein, Johannesburg area. So they would cover the, the cost, uh, not only of tuition, but also of accommodation in our space. So they would pay effectively the, the rental for, for, for the student who's at university. What's key from a kind of success standpoint, I'm talking kind of academic success and kind of passing, I think the environment plays a key role, but we go much further than just the the bed. We, we provide some uh, academic support, uh, we provide uh, mental uh, health and wellness programs, social programs and so as a kind of objective of our business we want to provide the kind of best environment and that's not only, not only the, the physical space but, but really all the support that goes along with um, being a successful student. South Point is actually a very beautiful res. It's a nice comfortable area for you to study. There's Wi-Fi. I don't really worry about safety. Saying that the GCRA takes into consideration everything that we as students need to um, successfully complete our studies. Compared to a lot of other bursaries, I don't think there's a bursary that offers that much. I come from a very big family, <laughs> nine siblings. So um, my dad has been work working very hard to put us all through school. It, it obviously hasn't been easy and I've seen that. There's a lot of people right now at this moment that I know are working so hard to pay off student loans that have, they've accumulated over the years, especially medical students, it's like a thing. So I'm very grateful that didn't ha like that isn't me because with GCRA you don't have to pay back as long as you give back to the community after you graduate by working in SA. <laughs> I can't even imagine <laughs> what it would be like. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where that funding would have came from. I don't know if I'd even be in varsity or like, yeah. It's, it's, it has made a huge difference. I always say it's not about a uh, big grants really, but it's about lives that are being transformed for, for the students. And remember, you're not only changing their lives, you're changing the lives of their families, you're changing the lives of the communities. So we are proud of our young people because they don't take this investment that the government is making lightly. And we are proud as Gauteng, and I'll speak on behalf of the Gauteng provincial government as well, that we are proud that we've got this investment where we are making um, an investment in our young people. We don't expect them to pay anything back, but we are doing it for the economy so that there is a pool of available skills in the economy.